My name is Christina, and today we're going to be talking about the IBSIS, also known as the IAC Accessibility Card for those with disabilities. Some of you may be familiar with this card as well as the process, and some of you may not be. So we're gonna go through it together and I'm gonna try to explain the best that I possibly can. As someone who has disabilities myself, I also use the card. And specifically at Universal Studios Hollywood, though this card is not just limited to this park. You can use it at Universal Studios Orlando, Six Flags Magic Mountain, and other locations. So to start the process, you need to go to accessibilitycard.org. And this is where you would register if you've never registered before, or if you've already registered, but you need to renew your pass. Now, the IBSIS is actually good for one whole year. So once you register, you go through the process and your card is approved, it is good for an entire year. Well, my year just recently expired, and so I had to renew. So. In order to renew my pass, I decided to go through the app. At the bottom, it said renew, clicked on renew, and I thought, that was it. That's it, I'm done, right? Wrong. <laughs> so unfortunately, I didn't get an email saying that I started the process or a call or anything. So I had to reach out to Ibsys to see what was going on. So they informed me to go back to the website um, because there was only one button that I needed to click. You don't need to enter in any new information but you do need to click a button saying that all the information that has been entered in your previous IBSIS is accurate this time around as well too. So here it is on the website. I clicked that button saying that all my information was accurate and it said information certified today. That's when I received my email and then a day later I got my approval. So this is what it looks like. I am not gonna show you my case number because that's my personal number, but when it is a temporary card, it says on the top, temporary accessibility card. But once it is approved, all that disappears and it just says current and all these other numbers as well as the expiration date. So I do recommend that you go through this process before you go to a universal park um, as all you need to do is go to guest relations, show them your accessibility card, they look up your case number and they give your accessibility pass. However, if you don't do this process or you feel like you don't have enough time but you need to go on your trip, you can go to guest relations, but you will have to explain why you think you need one or what is going on with you. And at that point, they'll assist you in the best way that they possibly can. So again, thank you so much for watching. And I really do hope that this was helpful in preparations for your next Universal trip. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that follow button, especially if you like Universal Studios, Disneyland, and other theme parks as well.